What is up guys, episode 16, welcome back. So last episode, got the assembler all set up, all of the sorting is good to go. It's very roughed in, pretty temporary, it's just so that I have kind of a little base camp on the moon. Sorry if my voice is a little bit different. My nose has been driving me crazy today, I've been sneezing a bunch and I think it's allergies, but aside from that, I put some plating on the bottom side. Eventually I'll get the whole top done. I'll need a bunch of steel plates for that. But for now, one thing that I do want to get built is a O2 H2 generator and a medical bay. And I'm hoping that I can make all of those. I've got... I only have three medical components. I might be able to make more. Let's see if I can do a hundred. Uh, there we go. So that's crafting up. Now I want to make a medical bay. Uh, or medical room. I thought it was called a medical bay. And a O2 H2 generator. And I don't know. I do have everything I need for it. That's cool. So I think if I put it here, is it gonna automatically pull ice into it? I don't know. I don't think that it will. Actually, I don't even, I don't have ice. Well, that might be why. I don't have ice in my inventory in the cargo container, so that makes sense. I'm sure I can find ice on the moon, maybe. Aside from that, the other thing that we want to make is this. Not enough interior plate and storage. Cued production of items for the medical room. And it's probably going to end up making more medical components, even though I don't need them. Where is... Oh, there's no... Access port on the side. That's kind of... That's kind of silly. So how else can I do this? If I put it here... Then the pipe above is gonna actually. We'll put it here, anyways. Once we have the remaining items. Remaining items, okay. So I'm gonna put the medical room right there. And then I think. Okay, so this has excess ports. So I can lay it flat. Let's do that. That might be a little bit better. And if I do that, which I'm still assembling stuff, right? No, I'm not. Okay. So I can take that off and at a junction. If I add the junction right yeah junction here then it'll have access so put you there and then I will put this guy right there and I think that'll work I'm pretty sure if I put ice into here, it'll go into there. If not, that's fine. I can drag and drop it into there. Okay. So the medical room is done. Now I can charge up a lot quicker. And, okay, perfect. So I was wondering if I'll have an access point to here so I can recharge my bottles. And I do. So that's good. Okay. No. What else?
can I do right now? I do, I have been thinking about building another giant drill somewhere where there's like gold or something in the ground. What's down here? I don't think there's anything down here. So I think what I'm going to do is get all the stuff together and probably build like a giant drill somewhere because I know there's gold and other stuff around and I think this, nope, never mind. Look like ice. It kind of looks like ice from a distance. So yeah, I'm gonna make sure I have everything I need to set up a drill and kind of figure out exactly what. That's not good. That's not good. Here, let me. I'm gonna save this because I discovered Reavers and I've never heard of that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get into my fire. Because I don't know what that means and I really don't want to find out. Hmm. I don't know if this is going to be coming after me. I can't really tell. I don't think so. Is this new? Is this part of the update? Because it says like a tiny ship, a pretty big ship, and then a really big ship. And I don't think they're coming after me. But I also definitely don't feel like messing with them. So let's not. How do I get out of camera view? Four. F. Cool. So, I'm just going to leave you kind of floating. Just in case. I don't think those things are going to come after me. Alright, so aside from that, let me see if I have everything I need to get a drill set up. And eventually I'm going to want to get guns onto this little base. But I don't want to make new ones if I have perfectly good guns on the old base that I can just go salvage. Yeah. I don't think these things are going to mess with me. It just looks scary for a minute because I said you discovered Reavers. And there was three of them. So no thank you. Okay, so I'm thinking right around here is where I'm going to want to set the drill up. Because there's gold right down here. There's iron like right around here. And it looks like there's more iron there. And there's some ice over there. And so on. And it looks like there might be some ice right here even inside this little mountain thing. There's something blue. So I kind of want to see if it is nice. And heck yeah it is. Cool. So I got a little bit so far. So I want to go ahead and mine up some of this ice real quick. And then another thing over there. Super Gremlin. Reavers, cool. I don't know how much ice there's going to be right here. There's a huge crater right in front of me, and there's some red off to the left. I don't know if it's iron or if it's just the way the terrain looks. But I want to get some of this ice. Okay. Whoa! Take this stuff. Oof. There we go. Park locked. And let's see. We got a bunch of ice. Is it going into here on its own or no? Oh, nice. It is. Okay. Oh, what? Why can't... I should be able to put my bottle in here. That's weird. 
Oh. That was why. It was too full. Okay. There we go. That makes sense now. Alright, so let's go in here. Dump those. Cool. So we're going to start with a bunch of steel plates. And we need to go. Was it right here? So down here was a bunch of iron. We pretty much want to be drilling right here. So, if I put my frame well, probably right about here. This should be a good start. But I'm going to have to go pretty tall. Oops. Because we have all this stuff over here. So. Ooh, about this tall, and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then it'll be thirteen right there where the rotor head will go, and then of course we're going to want a platform of some sort hold our controller and our storage cool Got you so now we're gonna need a whole crap load of conveyor tubes and some pistons Now I'll go ahead and use my new medical bay. Get some charge up going. Alright, so let me get I'm gonna craft up enough stuff to make a large cargo container. I'm gonna place it over there, and then I'm gonna bring all the resources that I need for a bunch of pistons and conveyor tubes and stuff like that over to that cargo container and then we'll start building. Alright, so since the last clip it's a new day. Today is my first day off. I have a three-day weekend this weekend, which is nice, and it's like 8 o'clock at night right now. My day has been very long. I got some new tires for my car, did a bunch of yard work, was fooling around with a four-wheeler that hasn't ran in years and got it running, and anyways. What, so what I did so far... I got the frame built last clip and then I added a conveyor junction and a whole bunch of tubes that go down to a large cargo container and then I have a battery here just so that the thing is powered. Eventually I will probably put a small reactor on this drill station. So now what I want to do, I have all of my conveyor tubes built. I'm going to put a advanced rotor onto here and then probably oh probably six pistons at least and it's probably going to take out some of this mountain so we're going to just start pretty slow get this kind of chiseled down until we actually start getting down into the ground here so I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and get all the items that we need for an advanced rotor and as many pistons as we can hold. So we'll start with the advanced rotor, shift right click, production for that. 
and then we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to start with six pistons. I can always add more pistons later on. And for the drills, we're um, going to want to produce these as well. I'm thinking if I do ten drills, that'll put me at about an 18 block radius or diameter. That radius. So let's do. We'll do 11 pistons. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And get that queued up. And see. We should be able to build everything. Cool. So once this is all done being produced, I should be able to just come back here and click when I need more items for the pistons and rotors er, or piston pistons and drills not pistons and rotors pistons and drills all right so i have enough in my inventory for the advanced rotor and six pistons so we're going to get that built first while the rest of the stuff is crafting let's see flip you Right there. And then we're going to want our pistons facing down like that one, two. Honestly, I think we might have to start with two pistons because this mountain is so tall. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to fit all of the drills that I need. So I think I'm going to start with only one piston for now. So we'll start with one piston and knock it down a bit, take the drills off, put another piston on, do the same thing over again, and repeat. And that's going to take a while until I can set the drill up to do its own thing with a certain speed once it reaches a circumference that I can just keep drilling. So we'll go ahead and empty our inventory and inbound. meteor storm inbound. Of course. Make sure the fighter still doing its thing. Can't even see meteors on the moon. It pretty much, it just shoots and you just have to hope that, that it's going to get them because you can't see them like you can on the earth, which is kind of a pain, but so we'll go ahead and see how many drills we can get. We can get one, two. So <laughs> we can hold two drills worth at a time. That sucks. So we're gonna go ahead and put the drill on like this. Nope. So it's the same thing. Cool. So put one here and one here. Load them up real quick. Okay, so I can only hold two at a time. I will be back once I get the rest of them drilled on. Or welded on. <laughs> drilled. Alright, so... I've been getting these messages. Looks like I found another easy target. Initiating system infiltration. Maybe I'm dealing with Ludites who don't have computers. No signals on this band on the next one. There doesn't seem to be any valid targets here. I'll search somewhere else. Good. So, I had a hacker drone missing with me. It's leaving now. That's cool. I'm guessing they work off antennas or something, which I don't have, so that's good. Anyways, I've got 11 drills, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Cool. But I had to drill out a bit by hand because they just wouldn't fit. So, I think what I'm going to do now 
because I still have a lot that I need to drill out. I'm going to go ahead and use the miner ship. And of course there's a meteor storm inbound. When is there not? On and unlocked. So I'm going to use this right click to get rid of some excess material. not too worried about this stuff I just want there to be enough space for my drills to get through and I wasn't about to do it by hand no thanks alright so that should be good for that portion now I'm gonna go ahead so I got a new mouse also before before I moved to Maine, I was using this like gaming mouse. It was a cheap one off Amazon, and I got used to it. And now I'm using a Logitech wireless mouse, the really nice Logitech mouse. And it's just taking some getting used to. It has a different sensitivity and feels different, so hopefully I can get used to that pretty quickly. Take out one last chunk right here. Cool. And that should be enough. Enough to get us started. Oh, slow down. Alright, so one last thing that I need to make is the control station so that I can control the pistons and the drills and the rotor and all that good stuff. There we go. Hooked up. Locked off. Cool. So now... Oh, where's the entrance? The last thing that I need is a control station. Shift right click and produce. There we go. So I did add two speed modules to my assembler. There's one here and there's one on the other side. I gotta take that light out and then I can put a third one on and then we should be pretty set. Yep, done already, cool. So control station. I'm gonna put this bad boy in and I think I'm actually gonna put some lights on this thing. I don't know why you wouldn't put lights on a giant drill that you're drilling into the earth with so that's what I'm gonna do so I'll put that there I think if I put a couple spotlights up here I should be that should work and they should be bright enough I think I'm gonna put a couple spotlights and a couple of interior lights so that I can see it from a distance, not you. Alright, so spot. Get some spotlights going. And some interior lights as well. So get one, two, three, four of those and then two spotlights should be enough. The first spotlight I will obviously put right here. One and uh, actually I'm gonna put it right here because why not as far as the interior lights I'm going to put them right there right there and I don't care that they're facing different directions. I just want them to illuminate. There and there. Cool. And that way I can kind of see this thing from a distance. So now let's go to the control panel and change our settings. Uh, interior lights, 
all of them, radius full. Spotlights, both of them, radius full. There we go. Now we got some lights so we can see what's going on. So, boom. How much power we got on this thing? Four days. Good enough. Let's go ahead and enter the control station. So, we're going to do... I'm going to put some hotkeys, right? So let's do drill through nine. Block group drills. Save. And then I can go here, right? Groups. No, I don't need to do that. Alright, so what I'm going to do drills on. It looks like they're already doing stuff. Yep. So large cargo is already getting ice and stone. Awesome. So, if I go to the advanced rotor, share inertia tensor, ten tensor, and then the piston, share inertia tensor, these don't have that option, cool. Alright, so the rotor, we're going to torque, cool. Velocity, is it shift click? Control click. Okay. We'll do point zero zero two. I can't tell if it's rotating. I don't know if it's rotating, so let's do control click. Point zero two. Okay, now it's rotating very slowly, so we should be getting more resources. Okay, so I can see it just barely turning. Alright, so I'm going to speed that up just a little bit. I will do... Da, 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 RPM... 0 10,000 ice and some stone. Still kind of slow, so let's try. Velocity 0.15. Better. A little bit better. I'm going to speed that up a little bit more to two five that's better okay so that'll make its round once it finishes another turn then I'm gonna start D or extending the piston ever so slowly and then it should start clearing off what it needs to out of the mountain until it gets down to the ground floor here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to let it finish this rotation and then I'm going to slowly increase the piston until it starts making its way down and once it gets down to like ground level I will be back. All right, so while I was getting my drills reinstalled because I added another rotor, I had a strike drone come after me. 
unfortunately there wasn't very much debris that was salvageable other than I think I got 40 missile container tubes and two ion thrusters and that was pretty much it the rest of the stuff it's the thing just got obliterated uh, I saw that enemy signal and it was coming in really fast <laughs> so I just hopped into my fighter because I didn't want to get killed and with all the guns on this thing it just yeah once it got into range with the automatic turrets I just looked at it and unloaded because I didn't want to die and yeah there's just debris all over the place but aside from that I went through one piston so far so it's taken out a pretty good chunk right now I have two pistons on and I have them both at point zero zero nine velocity and I think it might be too much I'm trying to gauge it to see if it is too much velocity if it might end up extending too far and choking up we'll see but every time it comes back around it, it takes out a pretty good amount of material and I'm just trying to see if I need to slow the pistons down at all because I don't want to take out too much material at once I think it might be just slightly too fast so what I'm gonna do in this case Hop in here, go to pistons, velocity, 0 0.009, we're going to turn that to 0 0.006 on both pistons. Go. It's better safe than sorry. So if I extend a little bit slower, it should be okay. Uh, I want to go back to Earth and tear down my solar array because I want to put a solar array onto the moon eventually but I also want to go back and see if my refineries are done and if I can bring the rest of the uranium I think I'm gonna have to make oh, probably three or four more trips from the Earth to the moon uh, Especially because I don't have a dropship, so I can't really store that much stuff. It's shooting at something. Red. There they are. And bloop. Bloop. Still going? Cool. No problem there. So I think we should be okay. I think it should be slow enough now. Hopefully. However, I've gotten so much stuff out of this already. Uh, 2 million ice, 2.3 million stone. Like, oof. This thing is just cranking. So these drills definitely bring out some serious resources. But I want to go to the earth and grab probably the rest of the uranium and all that stuff tear down a couple more of the refineries maybe bring all the resources for the nanite facility as much as I can fit into the ship and so I'm gonna go back to the earth while this thing is running and hopefully nothing bad happens we'll see alright back on earth again I brought my miner with me and I loaded this thing up it's probably pretty heavy I took two of the azimuth batteries. I took two of them before, off camera. So I've taken four of the six so far. So I'm going to get those installed in the new area. I took out the nanite facility and the refinery as well as all of its upgrades. I grabbed quite a bit of more stuff out of this cargo container. The only stuff that's left really is some cobalt some gravel and some iron. I think I'm going to grab a little bit more cobalt. I took the reactor off. 
the nanite facility. Yeah, that's. I think that's pretty much it. I'm sure that the ship is probably pretty heavy. I think it was 66 thousand kilograms coming here so what it is now is 317 thousand kilograms so I'm taking about oh, what 200 240 thousand kilograms worth of stuff I'm sure it'll fly okay yeah it seems like it oh and I took two turrets off the top and I think that's pretty much it. Oh, nope, nope, nope. And <coughs> I took, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Meteor about storm 20 inbound. solar panels off of this one. I was going to grab all of it, but I didn't feel like it. It's not that big of a deal. The Earth base will still have power for now. So we're going to go ahead and get back up into space get back to the moon, unload all of the stuff that we have inside of this ship and start getting some more building done and see how far the drill went. Alright. Making our way back to the moon. Let's go ahead and slow down a little bit faster. Still coming in a little bit too fast. Turn around. Okay. Let's rotate a little bit. Come down nice and easy. Gonna go ahead and get hooked up. And that way, all of our items come out. So we're nice and close. There we go. Ready to connect. Thrusters off. Hop out. And all of our items should be coming in. I know I had like 600 power cells. So that's increasing. Power cells. Where are the power cells? There they go. 660 power cells. We got all kinds of stuff. Great. So, I'm going to go ahead, while I'm here, let's clear that, and that will do battery, azimuth battery, right click so that we can get it started, and I think I want to build it like this, probably like that, there we go. And let's get some more items for it. These things take like three inventories full worth, I think. Just to get them built. Three or four, I can't remember. Four, okay. So that's one, two, and three. Let's get the rest of our stuff for you. There we go. So you should be charging now, right? Input is 14 megawatts, and your output is maxed out. Cool. So this guy will get those charged up, and let's go take a look at the drill and see how it's looking. Cool. All right, so it hasn't self-destructed. That's good. It looks like it's just about done. It might be fully extended actually, so how's our inventory looking? Full. Cool. Okay. 
So we are completely full on that thing. Let's go ahead and hop in. Piston, 10, 10. So we're maxed out and we are completely full. Okay, so that's gonna probably be it for this episode. So we got the drill started. Everything is, is working good so far. Started the hole. I'm sorry, the drills are kind of loud. Uh, we got quite a ways to go until we start hitting material. So I think next episode, what we're gonna do is probably put a second large cargo. I'm gonna cut this stuff out and build an ion ship. That'll be kind of a It'll be like a, a rover, but for the moon, it's going to run on ion thrusters. Maybe. Because I don't know how much platinum I have. I think I'm probably actually going to make it out of hydrogen thrusters. But it's basically just going to be a couple cargo containers that fly. That can come and hook up to the drill and take all the stuff over to this section to be refined. I think that's what's going to happen next episode. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on episode 17.